Hello everybody and welcome to another Word TV TV video of our War Dance Mythic Kill of the Assault or Lord Cagney. Now, now this fight ends up being a three phase fight in my opinion. The first phase is us just straight up attacking Lord Cagney and when we end up DPSing him to a certain uh, percentage or I'm pretty sure it's more time based but um we we wanted to have a certain uh, percentage on the boss before we proceeded to get to this second phase and we were continuing to do that once the time limit con completed uh, the rate is split in half into two portions and one part is on the north and the other part is on the south side of this fight and you're going to end up dpsing and fighting these bosses down now during this time frame you're going to want to end up focusing on the mystics while aoeing the rest of the people down now while that's happening you're going to get rocks on the ground where you can throw over the side and hit the uh the cliff wallers i'm pretty sure they're called so you can end up doing that and there is just a there's just a lot of ads so during this fight you want to mostly have to cleave and it's probably one of the few fights in this raid where you actually need to have some type of cleave now you're going to get a bird that's going to try to push you off the edge I mean, there's so there's a lot of different mechanics that are going on in this fight while it's happening, but the main thing you kind of want to know and realize is that you want to make sure that you are DPSing Mystics first, AOEing the group. You want your tanks grabbing as many ants as possible. You want to slow the birds as much as possible. You want to try to keep them off of healers, and but you want to make sure you're burning them down a lot too. Uh, once the mystics are down, you want to end up, you know, just straight up attacking uh, the warlord while end up cleaving onto the other adds. That's going to be your best bet for that. Now, as you know, I'm normally playing a marksman hunter, but this time I actually am starting to play PM a little more, only because the cleave and the movability is just it's just too good for some of these fights. So I ended up, you know, swapping a little bit for that. Now, just a reminder. Uh, if you see those amazing glasses I'm wearing, those are from Sub2R. That is an amazing company that is producing gamer glasses. We're going to have full information on that shortly. But if you end up wanting to pick those up or anything on that on that website, make sure you use LordPDTV and get 10% off. And thank you very much for, for doing that. And also, you know, we always have our, our code or affiliated code for our Rogue Energy Drinks too so don't forget those also now as you can see here we're still continuing to fight off these ads now that there is it seems like they're just going for a really long time and it is it really is a really long time for for dpsing the ads and dpsing everything and the main thing that we had to do is we had to kind of get down and used to is being able to dps that mystic down while dpsing the main boss down and pulling them into that you know third phase properly and that is something that we ended up having to talk a, a little bit about. We had to kind of get our communication good for. And we ended up getting that down. And I think that overall, the, the fight was harder than what we all expected, but it was very doable. And I think that's because our raid team really, really trusts each other. And we're really, really working well this season. And I'm very happy about it. So... Uh, and as you can see here, we got some more rocks that are falling, which means we're going to take those and we're going to blow those off the edge. And very, very shortly, that boss is going to fly to the other side. And once he hits 20%, if I recall, he's going to, you know, he's going to end up being part of the next part of the raid uh, portion. So he's going to hop to the other side and know those people. As we're gonna fight these guys we got a one or two little ads and then we get our mystic down and we gotta go dps that mystic and he puts that shield on himself which is really really hard and i will say this fight is really really good for the healers and the tanks i mean i give them a lot of credit because those tanks are having to continuously grab ads the whole time there's so much aoe damage going out on those heat for the healers so it's kind of really really difficult there's that laser beam you want to really, really want to watch out for. You don't want to hit multiple people with that. There's that mystic. Now, this is, I think, the last mystic that we deal with. 
because we're gonna take that mystic we're gonna burn him down a little bit then the boss is gonna jump up out of here in here out of nowhere And you're going to see him drop in. Boom, right there. I mean, he doesn't even get two seconds over here, and he is already going to run past us. You can see him. He's going to run past us, and he's going to get in that position for that next portion. And we're just cleaving right now. We're doing our things. He, he runs to part two. We get that mystic down as quick as we can. I try to slow people down running over. <laughs> That's funny. Brooklyn's, uh full moon hit there. And then from there, we're just going to DPS the bosses as quick as we can. Now, everyone's going to rotate now. Uh, we're going to have the first two, uh, group one and two, are going to stack by the boss. And that, and then we're going to end up having them going to go after that AOE hits. And that's good. That, and that stacking, is, as you can see, is going to happen. It's going to prevent that door from breaking. And, you know, we get lucky enough for that. So we end up dealing with that. And now we're going to go in and we're going to end up doing it for our group which is gonna be group two and four so we're waiting for that aoe to go i'm mostly waiting for those birds because those birds are which is what killed us the last time we tried to do this now everyone gets in we all use cooldowns we run in boom we get ready for another hit boom we get hit with our next hit we all get out we just kind of push we ended up losing a healer there but that's not really a big deal the boss is almost dead and everyone just goes crazy and just tries to DPS the heck out of the boss. Now, our plan is here is for the third. We're going to take the third door with all immunities, meaning Pally's, myself, and the other hunter. And then we're going to end up going in with two other people, and they're going to get bopped. But we end up killing them before that even happens. Great job, everybody. Love you all. See you on the channel. Thanks again. Bye, everybody.